In this video, we're going to see if we can draw the graphs of y is equal to a to the power of x and y is equal to log to the base a of x. Well, we've already drawn this one, so can we draw this one from this one? Let's have a look at that. So if f of x is equal to a to the x, we're finding the inverse function. We have we let y equal to a to the x, and then we know that b is equal implies that c is equal to log to the base a of b. So we're now applying that to the top, we get that x, because c is x, is equal to log to the base a of y. Then normally finding the inverse function, we interchange the x and the y, and then we have that the inverse function, which this would be y, but we'll write it as f, of, f to the minus 1 of x, is equal to log to the base a of x. So a to the x and log a of x are the inverse of each other. And therefore we can obtain the graph of y is equal to log base a of x by reflecting the graph of y is equal to a to the x in the line y is equal to x. So if we look at this GeoGebra applet, and again I'll put the GeoGebra applet in the notes of the video, here we have the graph of y is equal to a to the x, and we know we can vary that. The bigger the number, the steeper it is. And like that, that will be 1 to the x. OK, we'll just put it back at 2 to begin with. OK, so if we now um, put y is equal to x. Now, when you, if you're doing this, then on a, a, you'll need equal aspect. Otherwise, you won't, it won't look like it's the inverse. So what we do, all we do is we reflect this graph in the sorry, in the line y is equal to x. So if I click here, you'll see the inverse function, which is log to the base a of x. So here we've got y is equal to a to the x, and here we've got y is equal to log to the base a of x. This is 2 to the x at the moment, so this is log to the base 2 of x, but I can move the slider like that, and you can move it like that as well. Okay, so just go back. So, as we know that a to the 0 is 1, okay, then we can see from here that log of 1 is equal to 0. We also see, although it's, it would have to zoom in, it, it gets very close to the, the y, y is equal to a to the x, it gets very, very close to the x-axis, but never actually touches, which means the x-axis is a horizontal asymptote. And for the logarithmic function, that the uh, y-axis is a vertical asymptote. The domain for y is equal to a to x is all of x, but the y values of the range will just be any value of y bigger than 0. And then for the log function, the domain is always greater than zero, so we cannot have a negative, uh, take the logarithm of a negative number, and the range is all of y. Okay, although it's coming up here very slowly, it does go up, up to uh, positive infinity. Okay, so those are some of the properties of the logarithmic graph. So there's a, a sketch of what I've done. Okay, make sure if you're doing this that we have equal aspect, it's very, very important. So here we have a horizontal asymptote, here we have a vertical asymptote. The domain for y is equal to a to the x is all the real numbers, all the numbers of values of x, but the range is just any value of y greater than zero. And then for the logarithmic function, the domain is greater than x is greater than zero, so it's the opposite of the range. Makes sense. And the range so it's the same as the range of the other one, and the range is y is greater than uh, all, all the real numbers. Sorry, y is all the real numbers. So all, of, all, all the real numbers will come out. Notice that is the same as the domain of a to the x. Okay, so these, these graphs you should learn how to just sketch just like that, and some of the main properties of them. Okay, carrying on. If we're considering... The composite functions, you remember composite functions from your IG says C, f of f to the minus 1 will be f to the minus 1 of f is equal to x. Um, 
that is true for any, if the, this is one function, that's the inverse function, then this is true. So, considering our functions f of x is a to the x and the inverse function is log a of x, then f to the f to the minus 1 of x means first do f to the minus 1 and then do f. So we need to do f of f to the minus 1, which is log base a of x. So we put log to the base a of x instead of x in here, and we're going to get a to the log a of x. And we know that's equal to x, so therefore we have the expression a to the log a of x is equal to x. That's quite an important one. They can't, these two will cancel each other out. Going the other way, f to the minus 1 of f, f of x is going to be first f of x, and then f to the minus 1 of x, so that means put a to the x into uh, here, so we're going to get log to base a of a to the x, which gives me x. This one's perhaps easy to see, because from the third rule of log, you can take the x down in front of log a of x, and log a of a, a is 1. So we end up with the expression log to base a of a to the x is equal to x. So this has been a video to show you the graphs of uh, what y is equal to a to the x, which we should already know, and the graph of log to base a of x, and some expressions that come from that. The um, GeoGebra app I will put in the notes of the this video on YouTube. Thank you very much, and I hope you've understood.